Welcome to Workflow 4, Ending a Patient Visit. In this workflow, we will review how to communicate with staff and how to enter and submit billing. To communicate with staff, uh, generally with the Kiro, you're going to use the tasks. So to find tasks, you can either go up to this little house in the top left, and that will bring you to all of the tasks that are your patients. They'll be the day-to-day -day communications. To create a task, click on the patient that you want or enter their name in up here. And we'll go with an end tester. Click the new task button. It could be anywhere along this bottom bar depending on your preferences. Click on it once and you're gonna choose uh, the task, the type of task that you're gonna use. Uh, the patient has maybe an email that you need to send out to them. You can type in the message down here in the note box. Um, so, patient refill, mind, and it's going to be an urgent task. So, you can either click on normal, urgent, very urgent. Um, when you choose urgent, it'll show up red in the task area when they go to look it for it. Normal will just be black text and very urgent. It will actually do a pop up on the screen. Uh, so. If it is something on a busy day, it will show up on your work page uh, when you're seeing another patient. And then to send that task, uh, you just choose the person you're gonna send it to. Uh, I'm gonna choose it to one of the power users and then press okay, and that will go into their inbox. If you're wanting to send an instant message, uh, a little different than the, the task uh, communications, you can go to send a instant message go through this little icon here. So you can click on that once. Uh, my version doesn't have it, so it will come up for the list of contacts here. You can click on it and then it will start a conversation. It will pop up on the other user's side so they'll know that you're in the chat. So the conversations will be in here if they're active and then the history once they're done. Now that you've seen Chester Tester for his prescription refill, you can, for the billing, you can click on the patient and go to claim details and it will pop up. It'll have the correct date and you can put in the procedure code, but it's going to be the 15300. So you can, for the diagnosis, either scroll or you can just search up here. We're going to click on general symptoms and to submit it and save it, you're going to go save and close. Uh, you can alternatively go through daily billing page, so the, the icon here with the money sign, and you can go through all the patients billing this way as well, and you just right click, claim details, and then you can adjust or add or, or delete if needed. Um, and to submit the claims, you're going to want to go down to the bottom here after you've made sure all the billing fees and codes are all correct. You press submit claims and then go OK, then it should submit. This now concludes workflow four. Thanks for watching.